looks a little bit like a toy pyramid on wheels. Not the sort of thing you expect to see an hour's drive from Chicago, unless, of course, you live next door to Greg Zanz. Well, I'm a pyramidal maniac, you know, I just, <laughs> I love pyramids. I think they're the strongest form. And this car is nothing compared to what I have in mind about pyramids. I mean, I've I got a lot more in mind. So I just really think one person may be far out there, but maybe he can change the world. The pyramid car, which Greg calls Dream Car 123, as in simple as 123, is an electric car. And while it has an odd shape, an odd name, every part of the design has been carefully thought out. I'm standing on the side of my electric car that is built with very heavy I-beams that you see here inside of it. Also, the car has half-inch bulletproof glass all the way around. That's right, bulletproof glass. But there's a reason. Just hang on a second. This particular compartment shows half of my batteries and also one of the batteries that runs the options like the heater and the headlights. This is the nose cone. In the nose cone, it has a standard windshield, but alongside the windshield inside, I have a pre-inflated airbag that you can see is inflated in case you get into a car crash. You don't have to wait for the airbag to get inflated to save you. All Safety is a big consideration for grip. On the inside of the car here, you'll notice all my switches are countersunk inside a very heavy, heavy Kevlar padding. This is all a system to protect the occupant from a car crash. My car also isn't three inches thick at the door. It's two feet from here to the outside with heavy, heavy metal I-beaming, bulletproof glass, and this car is the safety car of the future. So the bulletproof glass is a carefully considered safety feature. Not that there haven't been a few mistakes made along the way. This is the frame of the dream car. This is dream car one. What you see here are four wheels with four motors inside of the hub. The only problem with this car is that we built it in our basement and we still haven't figured out a way to get it out yet. Greg's basement is full of pyramid paraphernalia. This is a model showing the dream car that would eventually be going through a tunnel. And in, in here is my tinfoil room. What I'm trying to show here is with 15 watts of power, the light is continually bouncing around. It's very much like being inside the headlight of a car, except I trapped all the light. So what I'm trying to do is be very energy efficient. I'm full of inventions, and this is one of my 17 patents. It, it's not, you're not trying to prevent the aliens or anything, are no, you? No, we are the aliens here, you know, this is, this, we're very far advanced, and we, we, our dream car has been called the spaceship so many times. So far, Greg has put about 80,000 of his own dollars into the dream car project. I'm a very calculating person, I'm a businessman first, and this is business, you know, you can't go to somebody with drawings and say, I want to build an electric car, but I have an electric car. And I'm going to people now, and it's amazing how they're responding to me. They want to see me go forward, too, because they see I believe in what I'm doing. When I was a youngster at four years old, I drew this car and this entire project. It's just now that I realize that the technology is caught up with what I wanted to do in 1954. If I were to come out with a flying saucer like this, they would definitely put me in an asylum. Of course it looks like a flying saucer, but people just love it. They just can't wait for me to move forward. It's just an exciting time in history. From the dream car, 10 horsepower, to a 1927 Cadillac V8, 35 horsepower. A garage nearly spanning the history of the automobile. That car would haul seven people and it would weigh 8,000 pounds when it was maxed out. My car hauls one person, but it also weighs 8,000 pounds. People deep into the environmental subculture, people like the Growing Tree Band here, are attracted to the Pyramid Dream Car vibe. 
My truck cost fifteen thousand dollars new, and you know I have put over forty five thousand dollars in the gas tank to get me up to three hundred thousand miles. It's ridiculous. I'm building something that's going to only increase in value because it pays to own one of my cars. That's, that's it. You're going to get me it going. So where's he going? He's already trying to find investors who will help him build another 200 pyramid cars. 40 horsepower units that will go more than 200 kilometers an hour. If passion can do it, we have no doubt he will get it done.